is this Shazamicon? Let's try this again. Much better. We're here at the WonderCon 2019 chatting with the cast from the DC Animated Universe. Check it out. Finally see you again. It's nice to see you. Oh, we each get one. Yes. No, you get actually, one. Okay. This I'll is share. the, this one. This is the you guys can share. How about that? Okay. okay. And, well, you know what? It's actually going to go through a lot better. Now it's all me. Yeah. Even closer than this, guys. Welcome. <sighs> a little bit this way. Sorry, guys. Perfect. Just a little more. Okay. Perfect. Great. Michelle Noel here at WonderCon 2019, and joining me right now is screenwriters Jim Craig and Eric Carrasco. Carrasco. And they're here to talk about their latest project, Justice League versus the Fatal Five. First of all, guys, it was really great seeing you guys again. Always a pleasure. So, so nice to see you. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he loves me. The best. Um, so now, the Justice League, they're facing a new threat, the Fatal Five. What can you, you tell us? Sell it. This is good. Do the trailer. <laughs> I was. I've been practicing. In a world. You know, yeah. Jim knows I'm a huge fan, so what can you tell us about this particular movie and how does Green Lantern, Jessica Cruz, and Starboy fit into all this? Ooh, Starboy's yeah. easy. We got the Fatal Five yep. uh, who are coming back in time to mess things up for our heroes. Uh, but that also means that uh, uh, Starboy has come back in time to sort of help with that battle. Okay. And he's come back from the 31st century from the Legion of Superheroes. So that's how we get Starboy into the story. Jessica is a new member of the Justice League, and uh, she is not sure that the the... She's not sure why the ring chose her, let's okay. say. Yeah. Okay. It's early yeah. days for her. She doesn't okay. feel like the bravest person, so it's a, it's an interesting choice that the ring made to make her a Green Lantern, and okay. so we're sort of exploring that in the movie. Nice. Okay, now, where did you guys draw inspiration, considering the fact that it's kind of like an original story? Uh, you know, it really is like picking different things off the shelf. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not... I mean, Eric did a great job of yeah. taking a lot of ideas Noticed. that were uh, kind of out there and then and spinning them into the same story, okay. making them making one story out of many. That's the freedom of it. Instead of uh, dancing between the raindrops of yeah. continuity or trying to be shot for shot loyal, yeah. panel for panel loyal to a comic book, we were able to take from the entire breadth of the DC universe. And so there's Green Lantern mythology and Legion of Superheroes mythology, and it all sort of came together in this really cool way. You know what's nice is it's sort of like being faithful to the spirit of all these yeah. stories rather than being faithful to the to line by line. Yeah. And a lot of times when we adapt um, you know, whole graphic novels or whole, whole storylines, people are like, oh, you have to do it exactly or, or I, I will be harmed in right, some way. Right. Oh, yeah. But you can't because you can't pack it into the 72 this, minutes. Yeah. Um, and so this was kind of freeing in that there was not a panel by panel thing that yeah. we were falling short of. It's a little scary in some ways, but yeah. it also is so liberating. Yeah, right? I don't know how you guys deal with the fans too. You know, they're really passionate about. There's some things they we want love to them, love. and then you guys just especially me. Them. Also, yeah. we are fans. That's true. It does help, doesn't it? Yeah. So now, what what is the important message that you guys want to come across to the audience? What's the overall theme? There is a theme. What's the theme? Error. There. Oh boy, <laughs> um, that's a good question. Um, there. We're sort of exploring, without spoiling too much of the movie, yeah. we're sort of exploring the Jessica Cruz Starboy relationship. And uh, he, he, in some ways, uh, is forgetting who he is and okay. is meant to be, and she is, in some sense, discovering it. And so we get to put them together and put them on a journey together uh, to kind of realize who they are. Yeah. Um, and the Fatal Five sort of just allows us to do that in a really, really exciting way. It's, it's about who gets to be a member of the Justice League, getting new blood into the Justice League, and about what the Justice League leaves behind for generations. Awesome. Uh, in this case, all the way into the 31st century to inspire the Legion of Superheroes. Speaking of the Justice League, you guys got the JLU Trinity back, Kevin, uh, yes, Susan, we did. and Paul. What was it like bringing back those guys and working with them again? Ah, it was all right. all right. It was all right. You know, you guys are just like... <laughs> There's a, I don't know if it will make the commentary or not. I don't know if they could edit it or not. But okay. currently, when we recorded the commentary track for this movie, uh, Bruce full-on makes fun of me uh, for how much I geeked out about Susan Eisenberg's voice record. Because I came in, she started saying it, and I was like, it's Wonder Woman. That's what I hear when I read the comics. Like, that's it. It was uh, incredible. And so... I, having written Justice League fan fiction as a kid, having grown up with these cartoons, having these voices in my head for such a long time, this was 
just uh, I can't say enough good things it's about it. It's funny how you're kind of going with every question I'm about to ask next. Uh, uh -oh. Is this a continuation of the Justice League Unlimited, or is this like a, a contained story? I don't know. Is it? Spoiler alert. I guess we're going to have to be in for that surprise. Uh, who is your ideal Justice League lineup? And how did you guys, you know, come together with this particular? My ideal Justice League lineup yeah. is this one exactly. This one exactly. Uh, it, you know, you always think, and I'm sure people at home have done it, yeah. that you're ready and you know your ideal Justice League roster because yeah. you get the figures when you're a kid and you choose who's going to be on the team. Um, so I thought, this is what I trained for. I'm ready for this. Cool. And then I completely spiraled and freaked out and was like, I don't know who to pick. Who do you guys <laughs> The only things we knew for sure gotta have the trinity yep and we knew we were we were desperate to do jessica cruz uh but you know miss martian came about because we were big young yeah. justice fans is she gonna reveal herself as being white martian by the way is that a spoiler is that a spoiler that a spoil? uh, uh, i mean everybody knows it i mean i know it and that means everybody knows it i don't know if the, i mean that I it isn't really it's germane actually a to non-spoiler because i don't okay. think it actually comes up in this movie Ooh. and there are no white martians per se right. in the dcau specifically okay. there was a whole different origin story for Mars and for Jean, so yeah. we don't really get into it kind of for that reason. It would be a long explain yes. in the middle of the movie, and she's okay. kind of I'm there. Green, but I'm actually not. So we didn't actually we didn't actually get into it. She kind of has a different role to play. She has this kind of wonderful relationship with Batman in yeah. it, where he's her mentor, um, and that is a, well, it's a, a comedic very relationship. <laughs> dynamic. It's uh, okay. it's really funny, and it allows Kevin Conroy to do some stuff that he doesn't often get to do in these. So, uh, so that was very cool to listen to. Um, and then filling it out, Mr. <laughs> Terrific. Oh, gosh, he, uh, it's Kevin Michael Richardson. Oh, yeah. He's always great. Love that guy. He's yeah. unbelievable. The and he's there as cool. Kilowog as well. As that. I don't know if that's a spoiler. I guess it is. Oopsie. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here first, guys. Six Last hours <laughs> from the release. <laughs> Last question. I don't know if you guys heard, but Batman is celebrating his 80th birthday. Batman is birthday. right behind you, by the way. I that. noticed that. And we're invited to the Wayne Manor. How are you planning to celebrate with him? And what do you plan on cheersing or toasting to him as? Well, I have my ascot. I have my my my. <laughs> Man, oh, stealing my thunder. It's always stealing the spotlight. Every man. time he I try to toast to Batman, I turn around and he's gone. So <laughs> He totally photobombs me everywhere That's I go. Awesome. That is so weird. Batman, to, hey, Batman. to your he did, he did it again. All right, guys. Well, be sure to catch Justice League versus the Fatal Five coming to you on digital on March 19th and on Blu-ray April 16th. Hopefully I got the date right. I probably did, but don't worry. I'll correct it on the website. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Again. We'll see awesome. you again in Comic-Con, and hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys so oh gosh, much. So much energy. It's you guys. It's you guys. It's yeah, it's trying us. to bring this out of here. What can I say?
Hey, you rock.